Right then, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Paul. You possibly know me from the daily teasers. I try and put a link into the info under this box. But what you don't know, possibly don't know, is the fact that A, I like movies and I like to talk about them. B, I like TV shows. And if I see one I like, I tend to try and write and talk about that too. If you didn't know it, I'm a fan and have been since childhood of Doctor Who, the British TV science fiction show. Uh, the, in case you've never seen it, the basic idea is that the central character, the Doctor, is a time travelling alien that can regenerate themselves if ever they're seriously injured and travels around space and time in a craft called the TARDIS. Occasionally, they'll have companions with them as well. In fact, for a lot of the show's history, they've had companions with them as well. There, the companions are always sort of to ask the Doctor, what the hell is going on? They're sort of us in that situation. Um, it's just, I've just seen part one, Spyfall part one tonight, the first episode of series 12 of Doctor Who, the, the revamped version of the Doctor Who. And I have to admit, I bloody enjoyed it. It's really rather smashing. Let me try and give you a summary. Episode 1, Spyfall Part 1, sees Ryan, Tosin Cole, sees Yasmin, Mandip Gill, and sees Graham, Bradley Walsh, finishing various bits and bobs off and telling their friends about what's been happening for them. Well, lying to their friends about what's been happening for them, but it's another story. It's also seen the Doctor in an MOT centre, Poking up at the TARDIS and trying to replace it. All four characters get summoned by assorted men in black driving very black cars and wearing black suits who, work, who as it turns out, work for C, Stephen Fry, the head of MI6. He's got a little job for the Doctor and Co. He wants them to trace the mysterious deaths of assorted agents who've been killed all across the world seemingly by aliens and seemingly by aliens who are connected to uh, a certain Daniel Barton played by Lenny Henry and in order to do that in order to try and chase down the mysterious Mr Barton they have to get in touch with a former MI6 agent called O played by Sasha Dewan who um, long-term fans of the show would remember him from An Adventure in Time and Space that I mentioned on the blog, just in case you want to look that up. Um, they get in touch with O. They find out the aliens are a little more... They find out the aliens are a little tougher than they thought. And once they deal with an initial alien invasion, the team decides to go after Daniel Barton. And the big ending of the show is rather big. Right at the moment, I am looking forward to the next episode, which is on Sunday night, which would be, um, well, I don't know, I don't know the date offhand, but it's this coming Sunday. Uh, today's the 1st of January. Frankly, I am looking forward to this. I really am. I don't think I've been this excited about a Doctor Who episode for quite some time. We, the cliffhanger for this episode sees, sees the Doctor separated from the team, sees Ryan, Graham and Mandy and Yasmin stuck on a plane that looks like it's just about to get the cockpit blown off and crash. And in all that time, in all that time, they've got a little revelation to deal with. Well, the Doctor has a little revelation to deal with. Oh, the Sasha Dewan character is the master. Trust me, I want to see the cliffhanger resolved on this as much as you do. I think it's going to be an interesting series if the other nine episodes of this good. Have a good evening, folks. Try not to yawn and um, let me know what you thought of tonight. Have a good folks. Take care and uh, let's see what happens to that plane, shall we?
Right, just as a just as a quick final thought. Um, I got looking at the Lenny Henry character, Daniel Barton, and personally found him very, very reminiscent of God knows how many James Bond villains. Uh, you know, big, powerful, uber villain that's in charge of a huge, great industrial complex that does all sorts of stuff and can easily take over the world. But also got thinking of Tobias Vaughan, the character from Invasion, the old Patrick Trouton story. I'm wondering if the mysterious aliens in this this two-parter are going to be uh, Cybermen, basically. But I will also quite happily admit to being wrong. There's that, we took this form to mock you line yeah, that one of the aliens uses. I don't know. We'll have to see Sunday. Have a good evening. Have a good night.